Giving priority to freedom over the truth is a crime, is a felony against humanity. That is because life is a matter of struggle between right and wrong, between truth and falsehood. Preferring, prioritizing freedom over the right is an encouragement to falsehood in the name of freedom. And following falsehood will cause you to enter hell eternally at the day of resurrection. So which one should be given more priority? This worldly life is only days or hours compared to the hereafter. You know, we call this world in the Quranic terminology, dunya. Dunya means the lowest, the bottom level, because it's lower. And as, but as for the next life, it is called the heaven, the highest, because it is the high life and the absolute enduring life. So how can freedom be more important than the truth by which your salvation at the day of judgment is based upon following the truth? Even your Bible admits to this. Look at that. You shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John chapter 8. So you should be having concerns about the freedom in the hereafter. Not only how to be free in this life. You may lack some of freedom in this world. But Allah will make it up for you. Will reward you for that at the hereafter. But what does it benefit you to be free here? But in the next life, your destination will be the fire and the wrath of God. Your governments offer you the freedom because they need your voice when there'll be a voting campaign. Yes, they need your voices. They give you what you want, but only for your life. They don't care about where to go at the Day of Judgment. While Allah wants the hereafter for you. Allah wants your salvation at the hereafter. Don't be deceived. How many things you hate but they're better for you. How many things you like while they're bad for you? And Allah knows, and you don't. In many cases, the truth confines you. But by following the truth, you will be attaining the everlasting salvation. Restrain yourself. Keep yourself with the truth. Those governments will never be tolerant with you if you say to them, well, I'm free not to pay the taxes. <laughs> Will they be considering freedom for you now? No way. <laughs> You'll be put in jail. But I'm free. I don't want to pay. No, here there's no freedom. Because paying the tax is the truth. Oh, wait a minute. Paying the taxes in Islam is forbidden. Insurance in Islam is Forbidden. Gambling in Islam is forbidden. Committing adultery in Islam is forbidden. Interest in Islam is forbidden because interest interests the rich people on the account of the poor and needy people. It's time for you to be awakened and to know that Islam is the best and the solution, but people don't want it. The society today suffers theft problems by day and night, killing, corruption, killing the killer, killing the deliberate killer, cutting the hand of the thief, <laughs> will be the solution. I swear by Allah, will be the utmost solution that people need. But the governors don't want that. Now you can see if the governors want your safety or not. You're not safe on the street, in the shops, wherever you be. You're not safe because divine...